Blessings to the body of Christ all around the world. I'd like to talk about drifters and backsliders. This is something that we should talk about because we're in the end times. And if there's anyone out there that's backsliding or knows someone that's backsliding, this is really good information. And especially for teenagers that were born again when they were young and they've backslidden into the world again. We'll look at 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 22. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb, a dog returns to his own vomit and a sow having washed to her wallowing in the mirror. It's like um, the pig was clean and then it went back into the dirt and the mud and started um, playing around in the mud. And this is exactly what Jesus was trying to tell us, that when we are washed with the blood of Jesus Christ and saved and um, baptized in water and hopefully baptized in the Holy Spirit when you have the power to stand more firmer that um, if you start mixing with the wrong crowd and you start drifting back slowly because the enemy tries to get you back bit by bit he doesn't do it in one big gulp you know he will slowly hook you and bring you back and then you'll notice well you probably won't notice but you will start um, drifting away from Christian friends and start getting worldly friends because they're like false prophets they're agreeing with you you know the yes yes <laughs> like the two chronicles I think uh, chapter 18 I was talking about last week anyway note being planted and watered so when we become a Christian and we need to pray and we need to study we need to read so we are equipped and we're learning we're learning daily even Christians at 30 years they are still learning. We don't stop learning. Probably even in heaven we're still learning. So there you go. We are going to be continuously learning beautiful things of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the gifts, if you're not using the gifts, it is very easy for the enemy to come in and um, deceive you. Because there's a lot of deception that he does because that's his nature. Deception. Um, and uh, another thing too is uh, I'd like to talk about because um, I've really looked a lot into it is the even when you like you've got your family and the family tree and we know that um, demons go from generation to generation sin is from generational so we need to understand that a lot of demonic attacks is from the family tree and sometimes they jump generations but you know, you have a lot of families, different different types, you know, like you'll see a lot of maybe the familiar spirit working in the family. There might be a lot of murder in one family or adultery. Like it's just, oh, there's some more than others. But um, if you find that you're actually uh, backsliding, especially teenagers, if they're backsliding from Jesus Christ, all those family demonic forces are just going to come against you. Um, in a deceptive way at the start and then um, because the devil hates us that he will pretty much rip us apart later um, and the main thing here is we need to pray a lot and study a lot and be prepared for these last days I believe you know myself that these last days there's more demonic forces against the people it's like a just extra and we know that because the word says that so we need to pray for the young ones as well and um, like if you have children young young people in the family there's a lot of demonic activity wanting the children so you need to be very aware of that that um, we need to be good examples as Christians and good examples as parents um, in a lot of ways because children see everything even from when they're growing up they'll see a lot and there could be a lot of things there where the enemy will play on their minds demons need a home we know that because Jesus said that when he was um, uh, on the mountain and he sent all those demons to the pigs they need a home and they walk around they talk they think I mean I've written that in demonology I think part one and um, when when you've believed and then 
you know, as soon as you become a born again believer, the enemy is out to tug you back into the darkness because he thinks he owns you. So when you step out in the light of Jesus Christ, he, the enemy thinks he owns you and you're his. So um, he's going to come against you when you first believe. Now, if you're not growing properly and you're a young Christian and you're not growing, and it's just a really slow process at the start, and then bang, you know, some, some young ones fall in love and then they're intimate together, and there, there you go, it's an octopus. And then after that, it, it gets worse. So, you, you know, you really need a lot of mature Christians around these young ones and for praying and for speaking the truth um, and uh, guiding them in the right way and, and telling them the truth that it's wrong. What's wrong is what's wrong and what's right is right and not get it all mixed up because the children need someone that tells the truth in the long run. Um, that's why you see a lot of children that are young ones that are on the streets and they're taking drugs and it's it's really gone rampant. It's gone over the Richter scale with all these really bad drugs that are out there. There's a lot of temptation for the young ones and for us as well, of course. So we need to be really, really grounded, grounded strongly in Jesus Christ. Now, with um, Matthew, beautiful scriptures here, Matthew chapter 12, verse 44 to 45. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than he first. At first, so shall it also be with this wicked generation. And that's explaining that the demonic forces need bodies. Now, if you don't have Jesus Christ, you will have a lot of demonic activity happening inside you. If you are a young born again Christian and slipped away, they will come back seven times stronger. And this is why we need to be really fully awake that the young ones need a lot of prey. If you're an older Christian and you backslide, well, you should know the word. So repent, turn away from your sin. That is the most important thing. Now, we've all been through a lot of um, experiences in our many years of Christianity. So we... We, we have the maturity to help people as well because of some things that we've been through. Everyone is different. And when we fall, Jesus picks us up. But sometimes if you are disobedient to God and you do not lift, listen to the prophets of God and you keep on going down that dark track, it will get worse. And, to, and you can hit rock bottom until you cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ and repent and turn away from your sins. The devil has different ranks. He has ranks. So they're not playing games. They're out to work hard, especially nowadays, these days. They believe that they own you. You slip into the darkness inch by inch when you're backsliding. And that's usually, it always is, because a lack of reading, a lack of study, and lack of praying, and lack of fellowship with other believers. Now, if you're lacking those things, you are the easiest prey out. Like a little lamb on their own, um, the wolves are there. Like a, like a stick of fire out of a fireplace that rolls out, the flame will disappear. Oh, there's so much deception. And it's a fine line, deception. It is a fine line. You might think you're going okay, and it doesn't matter, and you're fine, and you can get through it, and <laughs> it's a lie. It is a lie. You need Jesus Christ more than ever. When you know you're going backward, you find that you'll have lack of power, more and more lack of power and strength to actually come back you know, like forward to Jesus Christ because the enemy is like voicing it, voicing it. You know, you're no good for Jesus now. Look at you now. Look what you're doing. 
you know, he's not going to want you, which is a lie from the devil. Lack of praying, lack of reading, lack of studying. Um, feeling very empty inside. You might be happy, happy, but there's a big difference between happy in the world and, and joy in the Lord. Happy is just, you're happy with the happenings. But deep down in your heart, in the pits of your stomach, there is such an emptiness. And that's usually felt when you're alone, when you're alone. And you start thinking. It's an entrapment. It's like a snare, like a like a deer, you know, running through the bush, and there's a snare caught, you know. Um, when you fall for the lie and temptation, especially in the sexual realm, that's a it's a pretty hard one to get into because it's not only you just having sex out of marriage. Which, which is so hard, and I, look, I know, it's like an octopus, they've got suckers, they just, it's very hard to get out of that, <clears throat> and, then, and then other things, because you're not feeling worthy of yourself, because you're not in underneath the Lord's wings, you feel like you're unprotected because you've disobeyed Him, so I could just, you know, it's, it's painful, it's terrible. And um, you just need to really just get away, break away, run, just run, run so fast from that one because that that is a pretty no, uh, you know, that's the one that's pretty much out everywhere. And then you've got the rest that follows that. Then you feel okay at the start, you know, and um, you think, well, I've done it now, you know, and it's and you think it's too late, and the enemy is tugging tugging you then, because the you 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 went un, out of under the cover of God's grace and mercy and 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 protection, you know, and then and then the enemy has more um, more power over you because you're you're alone. You that's what you feel. You're alone, and the the enemy is just lying to you. Just repent and turn turn back. The devil is telling you lies all the time. So, you know, it's, um, I, 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 I'm sure there's so many people I'm talking to today about this. So here the, um, the demons can take you deeper in, in adding more and more sin so it gets darker and harder to break away. Then you feel like you've really lost your way home, you know, and it's a very sad place to be. And you notice that the only people that will encourage you are the people in the world because they're there anyway. So, but the, the Christians you find that you don't want to be with anymore. So that slips away as well. And then if a Christian or some friend sends you a text, a, a scripture, you just blind to it. You, you've, that's how deep you've gotten. Um, then people, yep, send you scriptures, da da da. It's like, Yes, and proudness sets in because um, when you get so far that then you feel very proud and that's, we know where that comes from. And um, your friendships will change. You, uh, you will turn away from Christ Christians, Christian friends and church and reading, the Bible will be dusty and start finding worldly friends and more and more. And of course that's worldly voices and worldly advices and very bad advice, just like Ahab had very bad advice. The 400 prophets just were there with him politically speaking and um, agreeing with him. And the blind leads the blind as we know that scripture and they both fall into the pit. And I mean, even with the ice addicts, they just say just once, just once, and then they're totally addicted. And look, it's really sad seeing these young children, these young people on drugs. It's really, and the same with intimacy, just once, just once. Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves, slaves to obey, you are that one slave whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. It is so much safer to be obedient to God because he has the best for us. He looks after us. He is a perfect, perfect father. There's a lot of children out there that don't have fathers, and that makes it hard too. 
because they try to replace it either with older men or they try to replace it in all other ways that are not good. So they need to forgive. They need to um, just let the Lord cleanse them with, with perfect love, unconditional love. God doesn't send you to hell. A lot of people, they always say, oh, you, you know, you think I'm going to hell or, you know, you want me to go to hell or I don't know. <laughs> the enemy always manifests when you're speaking or you're judging me. Well, they've just judged you, but we can judge righteously. But they don't understand that because they're trying to um, get you to be quiet. It's the enemy speaking from them. So, no, God doesn't send you you to hell you choose it by the lifestyle you live with obeying the devil and his wicked sinful ways why it is the path that leads the way to destruction as we know and narrow is the path that leads to everlasting life with jesus christ and yes you choose to go to hell god's love he he doesn't want nobody to go to hell but if we choose to disobey God and we walk the wicked way, which you have been warned and warned by the prophets of God, that you are actually taking the ticket and wanting to go yourself. Simple as that, because God doesn't want nobody to go to hell. He wants us all in heaven with him because he loves us so dearly. And he is waiting for you to repent and turn away from your sin and come to him. Simple as that, like the Chronicle son. Read that one. In James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. You double-minded. And we know about the double-mindedness. is like the rough sea, left and right, left and right. They, you know, they don't know where they're going. They're confused and they get more confused because they keep on listening to the enemy. So we just, we just lift all the people that need help, need their eyes to be opened. I pray that their eyes will be open, their ears will be open. And we just bind the enemy from them and and for them to repent and turn away from their sins, they will be feeling so much better under the wings of our mighty God and protected and a much better life and fullness in our hearts with Jesus Christ and his love. And I know that we're in the last days. And as we can see, the news is like full of things that are not good and it is going to get worse it's not going to get better we're running out of time and i i just i just cry out to the the people that have backslidden and gone to lukewarm i pray for the lost that haven't even <clears throat> met jesus christ yet and i just pray that that people will just wake up and know that we are running out of time and don't be left behind. It will not be good. Bless you all and I hope this this video YouTube helps someone to um, get, you know, just get that, just cry out to the Lord. Just cry out to him. Go into your room, scream, yell, throw things, I don't know, cry out to him. Because this is going to be the best decision that you made. People slip. But you've got to get back before it's too late. Blessings to you all. Love you. Blessings. In Jesus' name.